Okay, I haven't had a fueling yet and it's before work. I decided to do a 20 minute elliptical. I'm gonna be doing that twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. Um, trying to keep my heart rate around 110 so I don't go into cardio mode. I wanna be in fat loss mode. But this morning, because I'm inefficient and it's been a while, my heart rate was up to like 137, which is high for me, but Fine. I'm good with it. Burnt some calories and now we're gonna go make fueling one but I just wanted to show you it's snowing again. <laughs> it is snowing again. And there's Paisley. I gotta go feed them. So all right guys let's go in and make fueling number one. All right guys mocha blast shake. Water and ice. Nothing in addition to the fueling. So awesome after the elliptical. I'm gonna go Enjoy this and I will see you at fueling two. Hey guys, okay, so it's almost fueling number two time. I'm on the road, uh, stopped off here at Starbucks to pick up a hot tea and I just realized I'm out of fuelings, which is never a good thing. Ah, what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, that's a problem. So I just um, ran over to Starbucks, they have this tea here that I absolutely love. It's called Mint Majesty. So good. And um, I'm sorry about the lighting right now. We are, um, we had some snow this morning and it's just really, really overcast. But I um, wanted to talk to you about the tea. And then I want to talk to you about the exercise because I know I'm going to get questioned on it. Um, typically on Optavia, you're discouraged not to do any heavy exercise. Um, you know my stance on that. I feel like, you know, from a nurse's point of view, being stagnant and not doing anything is not good. <laughs> so therefore, my best recommendation if you want to have fat loss through exercise is to keep your heart rate in the fat burn zone. And how the heck do you even find that? So I'm going to tell you exactly how to find your target heart rate for fat burn. And this is how it's done. So how do you find your target heart rate when you want to do fat burn exercise? Simple. Get yourself a pen and a paper and we're going to go for it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the number 220. And then you're going to subtract your age. Okay, so I will do this and show you how I come up with mine. So 220, so I'm doing it on my phone. 220 minus my age, 52. I get 168. With this number now, I want to multiply by 0 0.65. And I get 109.2. My target heart rate for exercise to burn strict fat, that's it, is that number, 109. I try to shoot for no more than 110 when I'm exercising for fat loss. And why is that number the magic number? Why isn't, you know, doing hit cardio and really working up a sweat and huffing and puffing, why isn't that? you know, part of fat burn. Well, it is, but at the same time, when you are bringing your heart rate above that target number for yourself, you are not only burning fat, but your body has to get more oxygen to pump the blood faster. And when it does that, it needs more energy. So it taps into glucose. So when your heart rate is, you know, up there and you are going full force and doing hit cardio and you know you're you're out of breath and things like that you're not only burning fat when you keep your heart rate in that target using the formula i just showed you you're only burning fat for energy 
and that is so key. I have a couple clients that I have and we figure out that number for them and their weight loss and fat loss is amazing. I have other clients that are doing Orange Theory and things like that and I know it's not recommended but you know we all do what we want. So what they typically say is I'm not losing weight on the scale. I'm I'm noticing, you know, maybe an increase in things like that. And that's okay too because your body will hold on to water when you're when you're exercising that hard. But if you want to lose fat, it's the slow and steady. So when I get on that elliptical like you saw earlier, my target heart rate was 110. If I'm walking, you know, the dogs and things like that, I try not to go above 110. That is slow and steady. 110 for me is my target number for me to lose fat. I hope that makes sense. All right. So when I, I stopped off at Starbucks, I got my Mint Majesty hot tea here. And I did use, I don't know where the little packet is. I did use one packet of yellow Splenda because that's what I like in a size this large. I know they have Stevia over there, but it just doesn't give me that flavor that I'm looking for. And now I'm at the farmer's market. I want to get inside tonight. I want to make something new for you guys for the Lean and Green. So I'm going to head inside and see what kind of vegetables I could find, what's good, what's fresh. Um, and that's where we're at. So let's get inside and buy some veggies. All right, guys, so here's what we got. A bag of mixed baby peppers, a giant bag of baby bok choy. If you've never had bok choy before, I highly suggest you test it out. It's really, really good and very low in carbohydrates. And I got a bag of uh, zucchini to make zucchini noodles. So um, we're going to incorporate these vegetables uh, either all tonight or possibly you know, some tonight and another, another night. These are the veggies I picked. They really didn't have everything that I was looking for, but you know what? We make do, right? We make do. All right, guys, we're going to go inside and I'm going to have feeling number two that I am just so way behind on and I'll see you in the kitchen. Hey guys, all right, so here is fueling number two. It's the chicken soup, the home style version without the rice. This has the uh, noodles in it. Nice and hot, and I'm gonna go enjoy. So I'll see you at fueling number three. So I'm starting to cook dinner right now. I haven't eaten since the last time you saw me. It's about four hours later. I just got so busy with work, I forgot to eat. Okay, so I'm gonna have the chocolate drizzled fudge crisp bar, and then I'm gonna eat my dinner since um, I'm so far behind. The dinner's light. You saw the veggies that I picked up, so I'm gonna spin you around and show you what I'm making uh, in the meantime. So right here we have two servings of bok choy that I sauteed and some uh, cremini mushrooms, baby portobellas rather, uh, in a plate. And then on the stove, I'm cooking up some mini little sliders and we're gonna top that off with um, some laughing cow very shortly so I will show you what this looks like when we're all done so here we are at the next fueling this is the cream cheese swirl cake and in my microwave I'm heating up my leftover uh, mint majesty tea but I just cooked this as the package says to except I only used two tablespoons of water Sorry, the microwave is going off. I only used two tablespoons of water instead of three. Um, and now I'm going to go do some walking. Um, on YouTube, there's a lady named Leslie Sansone, and I like her walking videos. So I'm going to go do some walking. And I'll see you at the next fueling. Hey, guys. All right. So it's the end of the night, and I'm shot. <laughs> I took my hat out of my head off my head um i'm gonna go take a shower now but i'm excited because it was another good day weigh-in day is around the corner you guys know i weigh in on saturdays 
So I'm really hopeful that this week is going to be good. I haven't been on the scale, so, ah, but I know I'm doing well. And I just pray that me starting up with this exercise again is not going to cause an issue because sometimes it stalls people out in the beginning. We'll see, but I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And we are doing it, right? So as my last feeling of the night after I take a shower, I'm going to unwind in a nice pair of clean pajamas, fireplace, Netflix, and this, the hot chocolate. I love this one. You can mix it with hot decaf, hot water, hot almond milk, whatever you like, but this one is a goodie, especially first thing in the morning and the end of night. I love it. So that will be the conclusion of what I eat in a day. Uh, thank you for voting on Instagram as to what kind of content you wanted to see tonight. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. And remember, we can do this. Yes, we can. As long as we do it together. You and me, me and you, we're doing it. All right? I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. I love you all. Mwah! Bye, guys. Some might say that I am just a bad girl, but if you treat me right...